Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tori and today we are off the coast of Bahrain going snorkeling for pearls. I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurt me we took about a 15-20 minute ride from the main island of Bahrain over here. Stopped in at a Coast Guard vessel and went across the water past some of these gas plants, I believe. Mike, how many pearls do you think you're going to get today? Easily eight. Easily eight. What about you, Steven? Three. Just one. Seven. And I'm going to keep my expectations very low and hope I get one pearl. Now we have our friend looking down at the bottom of the ocean floor to see if this is a good place to look for pearls. Please ignore the fact I say clams throughout this entire video. I just googled it and realized that we were in fact finding oysters instead of clams. So apologies in advance. Please ignore. Thank you so much. Thank you. This snorkeling company provided us a mask and snorkel. We got a little glove, a one Michael Jackson type glove to pick up the clams, a bag to put in our clams, and of course, flippers. Jill, who do you think you look like? The guy from Aladdin Jafar with the one glove. Good luck! <laughs> Mike is ready to go. He has a snorkel on and everything. Eight pearls, here we come. Sea Look at those Maryland shorts. <laughs> Don't say thank you. Don't thank you. That way? Okay. Woo! Katie, how are you feeling? Nauseous. We gave Katie a little patch on her ear right there. She's thinking it may it may be working a little bit. Or it's the placebo effect. We don't know. I also tend to get a little motion sickness, so I have my tried and true acupressure bracelets. All right, I got my mask, I got my flippers, I got my bag, got my snorkel, and I'm ready to find some pearls. One, two, three. I've been the fool. I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how real love should feel Knowing that it's not just you, it's me Cause I was made to be free How many do you think you got? Uh, four. You got four? Four whole, whole ones? You got a few? Yeah. You got much, much more. Mike's got a ton. Six or seven. 
Lenore. So did Katie. Katie did pretty well. Should we okay, put the starfish back? Can we throw it back? Do you want to throw it back? Alright, fella. I don't think it's alive. You monster. Okay. And then sign to have madam. It's face little. Sign. Yeah, yeah. So put up, down, up, down, push inside. Pull inside knife, okay? Mm -hmm. Like this, put inside. There is a body, cut body. Like this. Pull it. Knife, please. Put it. Knife, put it. Pull. Pull. So how pull it how inside. It. You can cut it. Ah, it's okay. Your cut. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Put inside first. Here? Ah, yeah. oh. Okay, like this. Pull like inside. No problem. Okay. Oh, for one. Wait, so on me. Mike, what was your strategy? Uh, just pick up everything, and then some. There must be a pearl in all this, even if there's some rocks. Maybe eight pearls. That's what I meant. Sorry. <laughs> there are eight. There are eight pearls in here, somewhere. I just gotta. I just gotta trick him into opening up again. Jill, maybe you were the smart one. Only getting a couple, <laughs> then you don't have to open up as many. That's a great point. I'll How put up my master plan. Started. Now that we've gotten our pearls, Jill, can you walk us through how you open them? Okay, so what you do is you put it with the curved part up, so the round part down in the palm of your hand. You put the knife and you wiggle in up and down. Oh, you do a better job than this. This is not going well. Up, down, up, down. Up oh no! We'll put knife inside up. Okay, I'll fold full, full side inside. Then just no, no. Okay, so once you get it in, you go across and you cut the body. You go all the way down and you crack that bad boy open. And then you're inside. Is there a pearl? Do you see one? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a pearl. Aww. But that's okay. No. Okay. Put like this finger if you have. Okay. We're just learning how yes. to find the pearls. And that's on right. my one. first clam. Okay, one half. Take like this. There's a little baby pearl. Like this. <laughs> He's so excited. So far, I'm the only one that's met my goal. Like this. Of one pearl. Oh my gosh! If you want to take a He's still looking for more. Nothing up six. Have one more. There's another one? Oh my god! Another one. Oh! Okay. Oh! Looking more. Nothing. Finish. Okay, we will throw. Bye. Thank you so much for your pearls. Almost die. Okay, finish. Did you just say all of them must die? <laughs> that does make me feel a little bit better that the fish will come and eat them. The best I'm getting out of this is. Oh my god, you're eating it! Ah! <laughs> I mean, I've caught it, might as well eat it. Yeah, I'm eating it. Rashawn just told me to go get my camera because he has found the whole, oh my goodness, there's one. one. These are so nice. Two. Two. I guess. Like a little <laughs> Three. Three. Oh, those look so pretty. I want a pearl. Three. But I also can't Other side. <laughs> Breathe. Four. I can't move. <laughs> It will be okay. Five. Oh Six. I hate motions like this. Oh, there's one right here. Six. Oh, I get so car sick in the back. Seven. Like Mario Kart all the way. Yeah. I have a rental because I just can't. It's like 12 bucks a day and it keeps me from getting car sick every time I go to work. Important. So it's worth the money. Oh, 
always get car sick, but I'm finished. Finished. What did we have? One, One. two, three, Ooh. four, five, six, seven. Seven. Now I gotta go to the souk and get something made. That's one less than your yeah. goal in a single oh clam. <laughs> what type of renewed hope do you have now? I never lost it. <laughs> <laughs> and how many pearls have you found so far? Well, it's not about that. It's how many are left to try. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking all of the wrong questions. Jill and Steven gave up on their pearl hunt and now they're just enjoying the day. I'm enjoying the ambiance up here, dude. We saw a water snake a safe distance away. Any sharks yet? Nope, no, no sharks. sharks. No sharks. Yet. <laughs> Matt, you just found some? So I literally opened it. As I was opening it, I was like, had taken the piss and we're like, oh, there's a bunch of them in here. And it actually turned out to be oh there's a bunch of them. The seasick girl got the most! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I need a picture with my phone. Wait a second. Don't lose care. I'm not gonna what lose anything. Trust me, you're the motion sick one. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt was helping Katie open all her clams because she's not feeling so. We agreed so to go good. halfsies too, so he gets half the fine because that's only fair. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me find my. Can you pass me my bag, please? How are you feeling, Mike? You know, <laughs> I'm not always I feel so bad. Here we go. Hold on. The problem is I've got this big pile of unsuccessful clams beneath me. Ah, another one. And I have to get to the bottom of these other ones. Oh, that's my hat. I'm almost done opening all of my clams as well. Which I still only have. Yeah. The original two. Yeah. yeah, that's probably smart. It's four fucking knocks on this guy, okay? There's no... <laughs> Mike is on his last clam and he is not There's giving no up. Way. I don't know how to get into this, but I will. <laughs> There's a bunch of like really mean jokes that I feel like I'm teeing myself up for, so thanks for not saying them. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, how many... Pearls, have you found yourself? Uh, oh, all by myself? <laughs> yeah, I found the one the guy gave me. <laughs> that. This is the, the pearl that Mike found. Was given. It's a participation pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving the final clam up to the professional. And just like that, he opened it. Anything? And nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Came about 30 seconds to open that clam, and how long did you? Spitting uh, on it. Oh, uh, believe me, that's why he makes the big bucks. <laughs> that's uh, like five minutes. No, like 15. An hour. A full hour. <laughs> that's how long it took. Jill and Steven also got some participation pearls. A few small boys. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you got a bunch of little ones. Did you find any more in your... No. I'm probably can having I, to I, shuck I, 70 of them, so... They felt bad. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks. Good work! This boat is also extremely nice. I feel like we kind of destroyed it with all the shells. But the seats are really comfortable. And there's a ton of seating as well as at the front. We are done with the pearl portion of our trip, searching for the clams and opening them up for the pearls. And now we are going to enjoy the water a little bit. On our way out here, we got to enjoy sitting on the bow of the boat. It was so nice enjoying the sun and the wind and my atrocious hair right now. And now we are at our snorkeling swimming spot. This is an old wreck off the coast of Bahrain. And I think this wreck is here because somebody made a mistake. The water is super shallow. You can see the bottom right here. So the ship might have just bottomed out. I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom in, but there are tons of birds on this wreck. And if you watch Game of Thrones, it kind of reminds me of old 
Valyria with all the charred buildings and the dragons flying all over. Let me know in the comments if you get that reference. Hey Jill, how's the water? It's so cool. It's perfect. Let's go explore this wreck. Enjoy Katie. <laughs> Make sure you don't touch the butt. <laughs> the what? The butt. The butt for what? Have you not seen Finding Eva? It's been a long time. No, I'm stuck in it. You're touching the butt! I am touching the butt. <laughs> This trip a success yes it was you said don't have high expectations but it was good I was super impressed 10 out of 10 definitely do it so there I was <laughs> on the boat they gave us some some fins a mask and a snorkel and a big old bag and I jumped in the water and I picked out not to brag but I picked out five whole oysters none of which contained pearls so then we proceeded to shuck a lot of oysters, some of which had pearls, but none of none of the ones that I opened oh, had any. Uh, we went back, hung out on the boat. They gave us some some chips and some croissants filled with chocolate, which I will not complain about. And then we went to a shipwreck and explored that, which was pretty sweet. There were a lot of fish, very cool scene. Uh, and then we we scooted on back. So overall, a pretty successful morning, I'd say. Jill, what would you recommend? This I would absolutely recommend this trip. Unless you don't like having fun, in which case, don't go on this trip. <laughs> All right, so I embarked on this trip expecting really nothing but just having a good time with a couple of uh, good people. Uh, I did expect to find a pearl. Um, 75 oysters later, there were no pearls to be found in my bunch. So clearly I am not the ace at picking these things up. But I did have a whole lot of fun with a lot of good people and absolutely recommend this to whoever else wants to go. Super proud. I got a huge, huge bag of oysters, but uh, well, with the pearl thing, you gotta gotta have a little humility and ask yourself. Hey, do you want to go back to Saudi how many, Arabia? How many pearls <laughs> have I found? And I'm like everybody else has zero pearls. But then after that, we went to a shipwreck, and I got to see uh, a, 
a boat that looks a lot like how my life is. So <laughs> overall, it was a pretty good time. I just got home, showered, put on some comfy clothes, and discovered I've been saying clams instead of oysters the entire time. Whether you call them clams or call them what they actually are, oysters, I still give this trip a 10 out of 10. It far exceeded my expectations. I was thinking we were going to go to a super touristy location with a ton of other boats and there was going to be some trash and it was going to be really shallow and maybe it was going to be a farm, but we went out into the open ocean. And to top it all off, I did not expect to go snorkeling at the wreck. Believe it or not, wrecks are actually my favorite types of snorkeling and scuba diving trips. They're sometimes a little eerie, especially if the wrecks were not sunk on purpose, but this one was really shallow, the visibility was great, and it was just a really, really cool experience. I'm not gonna lie, I did feel a little bit bad picking up the oysters from the ocean floor, but it did make me feel a little bit better once we started throwing everything back and realizing that it's going to be food for the fish. Dig it up, but not anymore. Matt, what's your favorite part of this experience so far? So really you good. are eating it and not the fish. No, I am. We did not pick all these clams in vain. No waste. Nope, no waste. Some of the other elements that made this trip so great were the boat, the weather, and of course, my friends. All of that said, if you ever get the chance to go pearl snorkeling here in Bahrain, I highly recommend it. And now that we all have our little oysters, our next step is to go to the souk and see what we can get made with our very special pearls. Thank you so much for watching and it would mean so much to me if you would like, subscribe, and comment down below on what you'd like to see next. I'll see you next time.